the bank. Let's talk about money, documents, accounts, deposits, interest rates, taxes. Good afternoon, sir. Can I help you? Yes, please. I would like to close an account and open a personal, international one for business purposes. Give me your identity card. I need your personal information. Unfortunately, I don't have my identity card with me. Is the passport okay? Sure, let's see. The account you want to close is empty. To close it, you have to complete a standard form and attach a copy of the identification document to it. I will do one for you right away. Oh, thank you. I didn't have a copy anyway. Everything is in order. Now let's see the account you want to open. Do you want it to be in euros or dollars? In euros, please. I would also want to deposit some money. How much money do you want to deposit? 5,000 euros. To deposit this amount, you have to pay a 50 euros tax, 1% of the amount deposited. What is the interest rate for this account? The interest rate for the account you wish to open is 4.5% a month. Yes. That is pretty convenient. Yes, it is one of the most convenient accounts. But it can only be used by business people, legal persons. You will receive an abstract every month at this address. Thank you very much, sir. You have been very kind. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's do the following activities to improve your understanding, to learn the new words and expressions, and to practice your English. A. Answer the following questions with true or false. 1. Mark goes to the bank to open a business account. 2. To open an account, Mark has to complete a form. 3. The bank clerk offers Mark all the necessary information. 4. Mark doesn't make any bank deposit. 5. The account opened by Mark can be used by both natural and legal persons. B. Make sentences with the following words. Deposit To close an account To open a foreign currency account Inflation Due date 